Hey Ruby, is it true that Jeremy is off on a month-long business trip? Hi Sadie. Yeah, it's true. My husband just headed out not too long ago. Is everything alright? No worries, sweetheart. I just wanted to make sure. Well, now that Jeremy, the boss man, is out of the picture for a while, I guess it's up to me to step up and lay down some new rules in this household. I'm gonna make sure everything runs like a well-oiled machine in our house once again. What's that supposed to mean? In my opinion, things at home are already running smoothly, don't you think? Oh, no way, sweetheart. Ever since you married my son and came into this house, it's been chaos all around. Boy, oh boy. I've never seen my humble abode in such a sorry state. It's a total disaster. And to top it off, the utility bills keep skyrocketing nonstop. It's a real downer knowing that my son has to bear the burden of handling all those expenses alone. Hello? Are you forgetting something here? I'm also working and chipping in my fair share when it comes to the household bills. I'm not just lazing around and doing nothing, you know? Oh, please. The way you use stuff around here is significantly more than what you actually bring in. Don't you have any considerations for your husband at all? You keep going overboard with water, electricity, gas, and even toiletries. It's like you don't even care. If you keep splurging like this, our family is gonna be broke before you know it. No joke! I get it. You think my son's gonna foot the bill so you can go on a spending spree, huh? I really don't know what you're getting at. I never go overboard with any of that stuff. I always use them in a reasonable amount, just like any other regular person would. Save your breath, Ruby. Your words don't hold any weight with me. Starting today, I'm gonna put a cap on how much water, food, toiletries, and all of those essential things you can use in our house each day. Gotta tighten our belts and stash away as much cash as possible for when you give me a grandkid, right? Wait, you're gonna start putting restrictions on how much utilities I can use every day? Why the sudden change of heart? I get that you want to save up for the future by cutting down expenses, but our bills aren't even that crazy high to begin with. I think we shouldn't do anything that might cause unnecessary chaos in our family. Looks like my son has been spoiling you rotten, huh? Not to worry. I'll step in and establish some ground rules in this place. First things first, you're limited to just one liter of water per day. And that includes everything. Drinking, washing, and cleaning. So you better use it wisely, alright? Gotta be smart about it. Don't tell me you're serious about only allowing one liter of water for all those purposes. Honestly, that's not even gonna cut it for drinking alone. Uh-uh. No back talk to your mother-in-law, dear. That's rude and disrespectful. That's just plain rude and disrespectful. Now, let me get back to it. When it comes to electricity, here's the deal. The lights and heater in your room will be off limits from 7 in the evening till 9 in the morning the next day. Oh, and you can only charge one electronic device at a time. No multitasking allowed. And keep it under 30 minute stops. That's the charging limit for the day. And hey... No binge watching TV or spending hours on the computer. Keep it to a cool 30 minutes, alright? Wait a sec. From 7 in the evening till 9 in the morning? That's the only time I'm actually home, you know? I mean, you're aware that I'm out there working for the rest of the day, right? Except for the weekends of Saturday and Sunday? Oh. When it comes to Saturday and Sunday, things are gonna get real extreme, my dear. Those are the no water and electricity days. Yep. You heard it right, nada, zero, zilch. I mean, come on, there are days off, right? So why not step out and get some fresh air instead of staying cooped up indoors all day? Quit being such a hermit and go enjoy the world out there once in a while, alrighty? Whoa, seriously now, where on earth did you dig up these outlandish ideas? They're totally ridiculous. Excuse me? How dare you say that my mother-in-law is ridiculous? That's unacceptable. Quit butting in when I haven't finished talking yet. Don't you have any manners at all? Anyway, that's for water and electricity. Let's move on to something else even more important, which is toilet paper usage. You know how crazy expensive those rolls have become lately, right? So here's the deal. You better not go over 20 sheets a day. That's already pretty generous if you ask me. Wait, what? 20 sheets a day? That's like, what, enough for only two or three trips to the bathroom? Chill out, Ruby. 
It's just the beginning of our new era of change in this house. From now on, I'm gonna do everything I can to slash our household bills to the max. Trust me, one day you'll be thanking me for it. Hey, Ruby, seriously, why are you constantly going against what I say? I'm your mother-in-law, the boss of this household, and I deserve some respect here. Do you even have a clue about what you've been up to for the past week? You've been flat out ignoring every single thing I've told you. It's like you're trying to be the poster child for bad daughter-in-laws or something. Why should I even bother following your ridiculous rules? They're totally absurd. And the best part? You don't even practice what you preach. Hey, what's with the attitude, young lady? Those rules are specifically for you, not for me. Because, let's be real here, you're the one going overboard with using up all the utilities in our house, not me. Look, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I'm not going overboard with any utilities. I'm just using them like any other regular person would. But you, oh my goodness, you've taken things to a whole new level. You locked the water supply right when I was in the middle of a shower. You cut off the electricity while I was enjoying my favorite TV show. And on top of it all, you went and hid all the toilet paper, so I couldn't find a single roll. That's just too much to handle. Well, obviously I had to take action to stop you from wasting my son's hard-earned cash, you know? I can't just let you stroll around like you own the place. All I'm trying to do is teach you some manners and show you how to live frugally. That's it, plain and simple. Are you seriously trying to pass off your actions as teaching me about living frugally? Or are you just straight up bullying me? Oh, and let's not forget the last time when you chucked all the dinner I made straight into the trash. You straight up wasted all the food I put effort into cooking. Look, I was just trying to give you a nudge towards eating smaller portions, you know? Have you ever taken a good look at yourself in the mirror lately? I mean, seriously? You've backed on quite a bit of weight since you married my son. No joke, you're starting to resemble a walking dump truck, and I'm not even exaggerating here. And despite all that, you still insist on showing down three meals a day. I'm just saying, if you keep going at this rate, you'll turn into a pig. No kidding. What are you even going on about? I'm not even overweight. So why do you think it's fair to just toss my food in the trash like that? Whatever. I don't care. If you're hungry, feel free to dig through the trash and find something to eat. It's always good to recycle, right? You know what, Sadie? I'm done with you. I want you out of my house ASAP. You barged your way in here, right? Well, I'm sure you can figure out how to get out. I welcomed you into my home, thinking we could live peacefully together with my husband. But it's become clear that all you want is to make my life a living nightmare and stir up trouble. Are you considering tossing this old lady out onto the streets? How dare you! This is my son's house too. You know, you can't just go around making decisions like that without any right. Well, guess what? I've actually talked to Jeremy about this, and he's totally on board with asking you to move out. He's my husband, you know? Why would you think he'd just sit back and let you make my life miserable like that? Of course not. He's always had my back because he loves me. And let's get one thing straight. I'm not the one in the wrong here. You are. You're telling me that Jeremy actually agreed to kick me out of the house? That's my own son we're talking about. You shouldn't be pulling off something like that. It's way out of line. No way, I'm not taking this lying down. I'll report you to the police for elder abuse. Trust me, they're not gonna take this lightly. Fine, do whatever you want. I honestly couldn't care less at this point. I've had my fill of your games. I'm not playing around with you anymore. I'm done. If you refuse to pack your bags and leave my house by the end of the week, I'll have no choice but to take more serious action. And yes, that means getting the police involved to sort out this whole situation. You're out of your mind if you think you can just kick me out of this house, like, ever. I already sold my old place, so I've got nowhere else to go. You can't just force me to leave this spot. If you actually go through with that, you'd be a total monster. No kidding! So you sold your old house, huh? I guess that means you have the money to buy a new one, right? You're not a kid anymore, Sadie. It's time to figure things out and take care of yourself. Even if you have to move out of my house, it's not the end of the world. There are plenty of shelters that could help someone like you. Wait, 
Seriously? Are you actually saying we should stick your own mother-in-law in a shelter? What kind of messed up person are you? Ruby, you're absolutely awful. I can't believe you'd go this far and treat me like garbage. Hey, just a friendly reminder. You've got until the end of this week to find a new place and move out. I'm actually being pretty generous by giving you that much time. Count yourself lucky that I'm allowing you some space to pack up your things and find somewhere else to live. If I were any other daughter-in-law, you would have been out of my house the very moment you started playing those silly games with me. Okay, okay. I got it. I'll be out of your house by the end of the week. Are you satisfied now? I can't even wrap my head around how unfortunate I am to have such a wicked daughter-in-law like you. Ruby, you're the worst, I swear. Wretched women like you won't ever find happiness in life. Just wait and see. Karma will catch up to you. Hey, Ruby. Guess what? I've got some exciting news for you. I've managed to find a new place to live. Ta-da! It's a cozy little apartment that's not too far from the city center. It may not be super fancy, but it's still pretty great. I'm actually quite happy with it. Well, what can I say? I'm glad you found a place. Honestly, all I've ever wanted is for us to have a decent relationship. But living with you has been an absolute nightmare. I've tried talking to you, reasoning with you, but it feels like none of my words have any impact. That's why I have no other option but to ask you to move out of my house. Hey, hey! No more of your lectures, okay? Just wanted to let you know that I ain't blaming you one bit, sweetheart. I've realized I was way too hard on you and I should have been more thoughtful and understanding. Any chance we can patch things up, honey? I really don't want to leave. Honestly, I want to stay with you and Jeremy and I can't wait for the day my grandkid enters this world. Look, Sadie, I'll be honest with you. As much as I wish we could have had a good relationship, that chance slipped away when you started treating me poorly. Like I was your enemy or something. I'm sorry, Sadie, but I think it's best if you leave. Ruby, your words hit me like a dagger. I never thought you could be this icy-hearted. Seriously, you're colder than the Arctic, I swear. All right, fine. I've already packed up and I'm all set to leave. But before that, how about we have one last dinner together? I just want us to sit down. Have a nice, calm chat and sort out all the misunderstandings between us. Let's start fresh, you know. After all, we're still stuck with this mother and daughter-in-law thing. Alright, I'd be happy to join you for one final dinner. It's nice to hear that you're genuinely committed to putting the past behind us and starting anew. Let's give it a shot and see if we can build a better relationship from here on out. Oh, thank you so much, sweetheart. You're the coolest daughter-in-law a mother-in-law could hope for. You won't believe what I've been cooking up for you. It's a feast of all your favorite dishes. Juicy roasted chicken, tender pork chops, savory beef stew, and a fresh chicken salad. How does that sound, my dear? Wow, that sounds amazing. I'm genuinely impressed by the effort you've put into preparing these dishes for me. I always knew you were a great cook, but you never really got a chance to showcase your talent when we lived together. I'm excited to finally taste your culinary skills and enjoy a delicious meal together. Trust me, whipping up these dishes is a breeze for me. So, when do you think you can swing by and join me for dinner at home? I'm super stoked and can't wait! Yay! I'll be home in about 30 minutes to an hour, Sadie. But if I end up getting there too late, feel free to go ahead and start eating without me. I don't want to keep you waiting for too long. No worries, darling. I'll hold off on dinner until you get back home. I'm so pumped for when you're done with work and we can have a meal together. I just know we're gonna have a blast. Ruby, you have no idea how excited I am to see you gobble up every last bit of the meal I cooked. Your happy face just adds to my own excitement, dear. Thank you, Sadie, for such an incredible meal. Everything was cooked and seasoned to perfection. Honestly, it felt like I was dining at a top-notch restaurant. You really outdid yourself. Oh, don't give you too much credit, my dear. But hey, Ruby, let's focus on the main point here. Have you noticed anything unusual since you had that meal? It's been about 30 hours since you finished eating. So I reckon any effects should have kicked in by now. 
Oh, Sadie, please enlighten me. What is it that takes effect? What exactly are you referring to? Oh, sorry for the confusion, Ruby. I was just joking around. I didn't mean to imply that anything was supposed to take effect after the meal. It was just a playful remark. No need to worry. I just wanted to check if you're feeling any unusual symptoms like nausea, headaches, or maybe even vomiting. I'm just asking out of concern for you, you know? I understand you've had a long day at work, so you're probably feeling tired, right? Well, to be honest, I feel a little sleepy. Oh, you're feeling sleepy? Well, then it looks like it's definitely having an effect on you. <laughs> I can't contain my excitement. I'm super thrilled. Sadie, please be honest with me. What exactly are you talking about? I genuinely don't understand. By the way, could you lend me a hand with washing the dishes? I have something else I need to take care of. Whoa, can you believe how audacious is it to boss your mother-in-law around like that? Talk about being a total control freak and only caring about yourself. Let me make something clear. You deserve whatever consequences come your way with that attitude. Brace yourself for some intense tummy troubles, a pounding headache, and an unstoppable urge to use the bathroom. <laughs> Good luck with that. Huh? What's all this talk about me suffering from those things you just mentioned? I'm a bit confused here. Could you please explain it more clearly, Sadie? Isn't it crystal clear? It's the payback I've specially cooked up just for you, you scroundo. You really had the nerve to kick me out of the house, so get ready to face the consequences. You're still holding a grudge against me because I didn't let you live with me and my husband? <sighs> just as I thought. Of course! How could I possibly forget all about all the terrible things he put me through. First, you took my son away from me, and then you heartlessly kicked me out of the house, leaving me with nothing to survive in this freezing cold. Seriously, what kind of daughter-in-law are you? You're not even human anymore. You're a straight-up monster. You completely ruined my life all by yourself. Oh, I get it now. So you believe you're a real human, huh? The kind of human who takes pleasure in turning your daughter-in-law's life into a complete nightmare just for your own amusement? You're the kind of human who would go to extreme lengths to harm your own daughter-in-law, even if it means committing a serious crime? Wow, it seems like you really get a kick out of tormenting others, don't you? Huh? Serious crime? What in the world are you going on about? And hold up, how are you even talking right now? The pills should have kicked in by now. There's absolutely no way you could still be here, talking back to me like this. Listen, Sadie, I'm well aware of what you attempted to slip into my food, but I can guarantee you that I didn't take a single bite of anything you gave me. Huh? That doesn't make any sense at all. I personally witnessed you gobbling up every last bite of the meal I served you. I know what you're up to. You're just trying to put on the top act, aren't you? Well, guess what? Your little tricks won't work on me. I'm not so easily fooled by your traps. Well, hate to burst your bubble, but I already caught wind of your wicked plan and managed to steer clear of it. In simple terms, your scheme has completely backfired. What? How in the world did you find out about my plan? I mean, I took extra precautions to make sure I didn't give myself away. Yeah, Sadie, you were being super careful. But guess what? You overlooked one tiny detail, the package wrapping from the medicine you used to mess with my food. I stumbled upon it in the trash and decided to do a quick internet search. Turns out it was some kind of potent laxative, right? And you gave me a whopping dose of four packs of that stuff. Thank goodness I discovered your plan right before dinner started, or I could have been in some serious trouble by now. Whew. Wait, hold on a second. Are you saying... You didn't actually eat the food I served you? No, I left the portion you gave me in the kitchen and made myself a fresh serving. Honestly, I had my doubts about your intentions as soon as you mentioned cooking dinner for me, considering you've never cooked for me before. In our house, my husband and I usually take care of the cooking duties. Wait, hold up. You're telling me that you actually left the meal portion I gave you in the kitchen? Oh boy, this is not good. Like, seriously not good. Yeah, that's right. I couldn't just toss everything in the trash, could I? That would be pretty rude and disrespectful, just like you always say. What? You're insane! You should have just tossed everything away. 
Do you even realize that I already showed down on that person? I can't believe you pulled that on me. You're such a terrible daughter-in-law. You purposely messed with me. It's outrageous. You're practically a criminal. I'm gonna sue you for every penny you've got. I swear, I won't let you off the hook for this. Um, hey there. Just a little reminder. Wasn't it actually you who messed with my food in the first place? I mean, I don't think it's fair to call me a criminal just because I decided not to eat something that had been tampered with, right? Ruby, this is no time for fun and games anymore. This is a serious matter. Oh no, I can feel the medicine kicking in big time. Ugh, my stomach is making some serious noises. Gotta dash to the bathroom like ASAP. Oh, well, good luck with that. If you need to use the restroom, go ahead. We've got plenty of them in our house. No worries. No, but I can't use any of them. What should I do now? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Wait, huh? What do you mean you can't use any of them? Is there some issue with the restrooms? Well, here's the deal. I kind of messed up big time and clogged the toilet with a bunch of fabric. So now it's completely out of order. I mean, the whole plan was meant for you, but it sucks that you somehow managed to dodge my little trap. Oh my goodness. You actually clogged all three toilets in my house with fabric? What on earth were you thinking? Do you even realize that I could take legal action against you for damaging my property like that? It really seems like you're dead set on making my life a living nightmare, huh? Well, guess what? Your little plan to harm me failed miserably and blew up in your face. You wicked witch! I swear, you're gonna regret this big time. Just you wait and see! Your life is gonna be an absolute train wreck and I'm gonna make sure Jeremy dumps you like yesterday's trash. You mean nothing to my son. Nothing. Do you hear me? Oh, please. If I really meant nothing to Jeremy, why would he have agreed to the idea of asking you to move out of our house in the first place? Sorry to burst your bubble, but it's pretty clear that my husband is fully supportive of me in this matter. I don't think it's the best moment for us to start arguing. How about we bury the hatchet and concentrate on the urgent issue at hand, which is helping me out of this mess? I'm dead serious here. My stomach is tied up in knots, and I could really use your assistance, Ruby. Honestly, I don't know what to do. I've already contacted the plumber to come and deal with the clogged toilets, but it doesn't seem like they'll be fixed anytime soon. Listen, I have a suggestion. How about you go over to our neighbor's place and kindly ask if you can use their restroom? I believe they'll be understanding about the situation. What? Are you kidding me? Ask our neighbors if we can use their bathroom? That's gonna be super awkward, don't you think? Well, if you really want to take it to the extreme, you could also go to the hospital. Just explain to the doctors how you attempted to harm me by tampering with my food, but mistakenly ended up eating it yourself. Who knows? Maybe you'll even get arrested for that. Tampering with someone's food is considered a serious crime, you know? If convicted, you might end up spending quite a bit of time behind bars. I definitely don't want you to end up in prison. Look, Ruby, I'm desperate here. Can you please find it in your heart to forget what I did and forgive my mistake? Let's start fresh and not let the past mess with our relationship, okay? Sadie, I'm sorry, but your chances of repairing our relationship have run out. However, I'm willing to be civil and help you call an ambulance if you need medical assistance. Once you've recovered, you'll need to gather all your belongings and completely move out of my house. It's time for a fresh start, and that means you need to find a new place to live. After being discharged from the hospital, Sadie made a desperate attempt to persuade my husband Jeremy to break up with me and allow her to stay in our house. However, Jeremy firmly rebuked her for devising such a wicked scheme and plotting to harm me. Eventually, Sadie had no choice but to return to our house and move all of her belongings to a new place. As it turned out, Sadie had to sell her former house to settle the debts that had accumulated from her ill-fated investments. Following her departure from our house, she found herself compelled to live in a shelter and take on a low-paying job just to make ends meet. From this point forward, Jeremy and I will devote more time to each other and strengthen our bond as a family. We have numerous plans for our future and eagerly anticipate achieving each and every one of them.